Hi, we're going to talk about liabilities. And you've heard me speak in the past that a liability is a responsibility to others. In other words, it's the promises we make. Now, there's different types of liabilities. And in this chapter, we're going to focus on current liabilities. In other words, obligations that you will fulfill within the next year. Now, here's the different types of gradations of responsibilities to others. The first one is just a straight liability. In other words, the amount is definitely determinable. So I know when I owe it, I know how much I owe, I know to whom I owe it. So these liabilities show up on the balance sheet in current liabilities or if those are promises for a longer term, in long-term liabilities. The second kind of liability is an estimated liability. In other words, we know we owe it. We don't quite know precisely how much we owe, but we know we'll have to pay it in the future. And examples that you'll see there are like income taxes, because you know you owe it on December 31st for the year. You just don't know quite how much you owe because you haven't filled out the return yet, have you? So we estimate our liabilities at year end, and we make adjusting journal entries, don't we? So those are things like bad debts. We estimate that somebody's going to do me wrong, or that um, we have taxes that we owe or that uh, we sell something that has a warranty, and sooner or later that warranty, somebody's going to bring something back, aren't they? So that's an estimated liability. A contingent liability is where you're not directly responsible, but you have guaranteed uh, a note or that uh, it's contingent upon a, a future event. So it's a contingency because of a past event such as um, your dad's uh, guaranteed your car loan, okay? But the dad is not responsible for the loan unless a future event happens which is the kid doesn't come through and pay, make the car payments. So contingent liability, it's kind of like, yeah, but maybe I won't have to pay it because the first promise person is going to pay it instead, or is supposed to pay it. The last kind of liability is a commitment, and this doesn't show up on the financial statements at all. This commitment uh, will be disclosed in the notes, and it says, I've signed a lease or a purchase agreement, but I, uh, I do not record that anywhere. So if you sign a lease, it's a commitment. It's a legal obligation. It does, it's not an accounting uh, transaction that shows up until what such time as you what, pay your lease payments uh, or pay your purchase agreement. Contingent liabilities are disclosed in the notes to the financial statements saying, I've made these promises subject to somebody else doing something first. So those are both expressed in the notes to the financial statements, whereas liabilities and estimated liabilities do show up in the balance sheet. So those are a little bit about the promises you can make to others and how you can be liable for them.